What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls with CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey, and today it's another wash and style day. Yes, it is wash day, and today we're gonna be using some products from Flora and Curl, another black woman-owned company, and shout out to them for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Also, I'll have everything that I use or mention linked in the description box. If you're interested in buying anything, just make sure you use my links because it really helps my channel. Now y'all already know, even though it's sponsored, I'm gonna give y'all all the tea, okay? So if you're interested in hearing if Flora and Curl is worth your coin and you wanna see how I went from this to this to this, <laughs> then keep watching. So I am starting off on three week old hair, like literally, 21 day old. So we're definitely gonna put these products to the test. And for three weeks, my scalp actually feels okay today. Yesterday I tried out the Scalp Refresh Mist and I just took my hands and sectioned my hair off and sprayed it directly on my scalp. This has a really good spray. It like, when you point it to where you want it to go, it goes there. It's not gonna give you a tingly feeling, but your scalp is gonna feel cool and soothed, okay? So I definitely like this. As for the smell, it doesn't have a really strong smell. It doesn't have a very sweet sweet smell, it just smells kind of like herbs. Their fragrances are made up of essential oils and so most of the products are gonna smell very like earthy and clean. But yeah, I like using this. I'll probably use this when I get my protective style and then I'll give you an update on how it is like on long-term use. But it is time to cleanse, okay? I'm gonna start with the Flora and Curl Soothe Me Coconut Mint Scalp Refresh Pre-Shampoo Oil. So I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair into six sections. Starting by dampening my hair with some water to make it more manageable. And guys, my hair kind of looks nice, okay? I almost did not wash my hair, but my scalp was begging for some relief. And this pre-shampoo oil is used to just break up the dirt and the oil on your scalp, and it's also supposed to soften the hair. So I'm definitely excited to try this. Okay, so it's a very soft oil. Like when I put it on my hands, it feels really, really good. It reminds me of like how the Bread Beauty oil feels. Yeah. Feels good. The scent is a lot stronger outside of the container. Um, yeah, it still smells like herbs, but it has like a hint of like mintiness. So I'm just gonna take the oil I had put on my hands and put it on my scalp. Just rub it all over. Ooh, it feels really good. Okay. All right, so let's test out this little thing. I don't really prefer these things, these droppers where you put it on your scalp and your scalp is dirty, but YOLO. Ooh, I like that. It feels so good on my scalp. It's so like refreshing. And because it's so liquidy, like you can feel it go on your scalp. Oh, I like that. Ooh, and like, because this is like a, almost like, I think it's, I don't know if it's glass or just hard plastic, but because of it, how smooth it is, it feels so good when you on the scalp and it can get into the crevices. So like if you have, if your hair isn't stretched like mine, if it's just like, you know, super curly, super kinky, you can still get into there. You can still get in there. Get in there. <laughs> and that feels good. It doesn't feel super tingly right now. It just feels like soothing. So we'll see if maybe like after um, a couple minutes, it'll feel like, you know, tingly but I'm going to detangle my hair because I'm gonna do a clay mask next. And a clay mask specifically says to make sure that your hair is detangled. I'm just finger detangling. And then I'm gonna dampen my hair a little bit. And I'm just gonna detangle. Get that scalp. And then I'm just gonna twist this up and do the rest of the sections and then come on back when I'm ready to put on the clay. So now that my hair is detangled and the oil is all over my scalp, I'm gonna go in with the Flora and Curl Soothe Me Coconut Mint Curl Refresh Clay Wash. And this clay wash comes in powder form. And you would mix this like you would mix any other clay mask. Like you need to make sure that you're not using any metal while you are mixing. And for, for this one, you can just use water. You take two tablespoons of the powder and you mix it with six tablespoons of warm water. And I would suggest actually using a measuring spoon, not just like a regular spoon, because the first time I used it, I just kind of eyeballed it and I didn't use precise measurements. 
and the mixture did not come out like I liked it. They also say that the mixture does not have to be smooth to be effective, but I just like how smooth clays apply. And so I just added maybe like a half a tablespoon more to get my mixture nice and smooth. And then also I found that mixing the mixture with a fork instead of a spoon gave me a better consistency because I was able to use the fork to like smash it. But here we go. So my hair is pretty damp right now. It is detangled already. And so let's apply the mask. All right, so I'm gonna take that much of the clay at first and we'll work our way up. As you can see, the consistency is pretty smooth. Okay. And it feels okay. It's like my hair got stiff instantly. Thank God that I did this on detangled hair already. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and I'm just not gonna force it. Usually I will apply my clay onto like soaking wet hair, but I don't wanna make a huge mess. And since my hair is already detangled, I don't necessarily need to do that. So this damp hair application is gonna have to do. And I'm just making sure that every strand is coated. And the first few ingredients of this is bentonite clay, brazil clay, organic banana powder, organic coconut milk powder. It got some ginseng in it, eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, and some other ingredients, but this actually doesn't have a ton in it. And it's a cleansing treatment that is formulated to remove buildup and clarify the hair and scalp all naturally. It gently exfoliates the scalp, reactivates curl patterns while soothing the scalp. It's ideal for all curl types, coily, curly, and wavy. The directions say that you can use this every three to five weeks for, for like a reset of your curls. And if you use this and it's not as cleansing as you want it to be, you can also use apple cider vinegar as your liquid. But because I'm using a shampoo, I decided to just use water and I got my mix real good. And I'm always worried about whether or not there's enough clay for me. So I kind of like straddle between being super generous and not so generous. It typically ends up being enough. If you try this, I would say to follow the directions the first time, and then you can kind of tweak it to your liking afterwards. Like say if you need more or you need less, you know, you could do it like so. Like that. <laughs> And as I was applying the mask, I noticed that the parts of my hair that were wetter, the application was better. So if you're finding that you're applying the mask and it's kind of like tugging on your hair and the application is not smooth, just add a little bit of water at a time and you'll be fine. And after applying the mask all over, I have like the tiniest bit left and I'm just gonna take the rest and put it on my roots. Okay, and this is what I am working with. First of all, this looks like I just got a protective style. Mm. Mm. But now that I'm done, I'm just gonna put on a couple caps and the Floor and in Curl insulated shower cap and keep this on for at least 10 minutes. I'll be back. All right, and after about 40 minutes, I'm ready to rinse this out. My hair kind of feels the same way it felt when I put it on, but my hair is soft, it's soft. It's a little softer. It's like the steam kind of softened up the clay a bit, but it is still caked onto there. My hair, it don't move. All right, so we're gonna have a fun time rinsing this out. And as I'm rinsing out the clay, I'm squeezing my hair and lightly scrubbing my scalp just to make sure that I get all of the clay out. And I rinse until the water runs clear. Yo, look at how my hair looks. Oh my word. It looks so good. Ooh. Okay, hair feels moisturized. Scalp feels really, really clean. Ooh, hair feels so soft. And now that I've rinsed out the clay, I'm gonna go in with the Coconut Mint Scalp Refresh Shampoo. And this is a soothing shampoo with a herbal and refreshing blend of peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and eucalyptus oil with willow bark extract. And this shampoo is formulated to soothe itchy, flaky, scaly, and irritated scalp. And for those of you curious, all these products are super clean, botanical, has all them good for you ingredients. So the shampoo doesn't have any sulfates in it. And at first when I put the shampoo on my hair, I was like, where is the lather? 
It was lathering, but it was giving me low poo. And so I was like, let me take out the twist, saturate my hair with water, and then come back. And when I did that, I saw that the lather really grew. And it has a very, very soft and luxurious lather. I just love how it feels in my hair. Um, you just need to be careful because a shampoo has like a jelly type of consistency. It's a lot looser than I thought it would be. Um, and so there were times where it was falling on the ground as I you know, was trying to put it in my hair. And so just be careful when you're using it. But once it's in my hair, it feels really, really good. And now for the true test, the rinse out, okay? My hair is clean. It is so soft, so soft. I'm very shocked because I thought my joint was gonna be stripped, okay? Oh my gosh, my hair feels so good. Ooh. It's not weighed down, which you know I don't care about, but some of y'all might care. But my hair isn't weighed, I mean, as you can see, there's, it's already so voluminous. <laughs> wow, my hair feels so soft. Okay, top of the condition. It. <laughs> Whoa. Next, I'm going in with the Coconut Mint Curl Refresh Conditioner. And this is an ultra nourishing conditioner with a herbal and refreshing blend of plant oils such as coconut oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and aloe vera. And this botanical conditioner is supposed to calm your scalp. The coconut and grapeseed oil is supposed to hydrate and nourish, while the aloe vera and herbal oils of peppermint, eucalyptus, and cedar wood is supposed to soothe the hair naturally and help to calm irritation. And I really like this conditioner. It is very slippery. It feels so good on the hair. It softens the hair very nicely. Like it's, I don't know what is in these products that is making my hair feel like so silky, but it feels really good on my hair. Look at the difference between the two sides. <laughs> it's like the conditioner just like laying the cuticle down. So this is my hair with nothing in it. So it's just beads of water sitting on top. And then this is the side with conditioner. There's the difference. Come on, come on. So I just start with 10 pumps and then I just do 10 pumps each time. Get these ends first. It's so silky, oh my gosh. These little rinse out conditioners have been winning the last couple of wash days. All right, so we'll take some extra conditioner. So with this conditioner, it's, I guess, buildable. If you put it on your hair and it's like, girl, I ain't doing nothing, just add more. Y'all, y'all see that, y'all, come on. And I'm able to detangle my hair with ease, no issues. It is slipperier with water, but I can still detangle my hair nicely without adding extra water. And I'm just gonna twist up my hair, put on the Flora and Curl deep conditioning cap, and I'm just gonna take a shower, leave this in for 10 minutes, and come on back. And I am back, okay, and my hair feels really good okay like the little bit of heat that i got from having the cap on and the steam from the shower hair feels good and now that i'm rinsing my hair my hair still feels soft but it doesn't feel like anything is really left behind like this is definitely a rinse out conditioner okay my hair still feels hydrated um, but it's not going to give you that like juicy juicy suppleness that a deep conditioner will. And that's okay because that is not what it claimed to do. It claimed to nourish the hair, it claimed to nourish the scalp and hydrate and that it did. But as you can see, my hair is a lot bigger than it usually is when I rinse out a deep conditioner. It's like my hair is soft, but it is weightless. It is definitely giving big hair don't care, okay? My hair just feels light. Like it's definitely not as way down as it usually is when I use a deep conditioner, but my hair feels good. Like I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. So I'm just gonna put the leave-in in and get up out the shower. <laughs> 
And next, I'm gonna go in with the Sweet Hibiscus Curl Activating Lotion. And this is a hibiscus infused lotion with smoothing hibiscus with marshmallow to activate your curls. And this is supposed to smooth the cuticle, add shine, and enhance curl pattern formation without any dryness. It is a rich, creamy formula that will define and smooth your curls while leaving them nourished with soft, touchable finish. And that it does. What leave-in? My hair completely absorbed it. And my hair feels really good. Y'all, when I tell you this lotion is bomb, okay? Like the marshmallow, the marshmallow. My hair feels just like silky and soft and smooth. It feels so good. And I'm getting a little curl definition as well, okay? Now the directions do say you can use this on its own, but you can also use it as a curl primer before using any of their other stylers. There are a couple other stylers in this line, but what we're going to be using today is the cream, but you can use a gel or their mousse, which I will link below. But I'm just gonna put on a cap, get up out the shower, and then we can twist, okay? Okay guys, so I am back. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, my hair is so soft. It's like the theme of the day. Soft hair. So I'm actually gonna start with sectioning my hair because I just wanna kind of fly through this twist out. Not too bad for a lightweight leave-in. <laughs> it honestly doesn't even feel like lightweight after it marinated like. And this was just for the lotion. <laughs> And to style my hair, I'm going to be using the Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream. It's almost like a paste, but not sticky. And it just smooths the hair. And this Twist and Braid Cream is a potent blend of cocoa butter and mango butter formulated to intensely moisturize, seal, and add shine to the hair for long lasting styling definition. And the butter also has aloe vera juice, castor oil, it has some rice bran oil, it has hydrolyzed rice protein, hibiscus flower extract, and a bunch of other really good ingredients. And for those of you who heard rice and you got a little worried, don't be worried, okay? Those ingredients are low in the ingredient list and I guarantee you, you will feel softness, okay? You'll just, you're just gonna feel softness. But I love how this butter makes my hair feel. It kind of has like a suppleness to it. Like I, when I'm using it, I don't even think about using an oil on top of it because of how good my hair feels with this butter. So I see that I have a good bit of curl definition. And also my twists are nice and plump and my ends are curling really nicely. But now that I'm done, this is what my twists are looking like and they're just so cute. I'm gonna come back once my hair is dry in a couple days, so I will see you soon. What is up, beautiful people? So it is two days later, did my hair on Sunday. It is Tuesday night right now. And so it's been a whole two days. As you can see, my twists look really, really, really good. Like, ooh, they feel good as well. Got a good amount of shrinkage, which I love to see. And so let's just get into this. Let's just get into this. All right, so let's take down the first twist. Okay. You see that little, you see, you see the, do you see the definition? Do you see it? That is what I like to see. Barely touching it, but the clumpage, the separation, separated, yes. Definitely getting a little frizz, but good. we got curly hair, our hair frizzy. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> we love to see it. And as I take the twist down, I take them down from the bottom and I try to separate where my hair just naturally wants to separate. And when I get to the front, I try not to separate as much because the front of my hair is more prone to frizz, but I wanted more volume, so I just separated a little more in the front and I'm kind of feeling it. <laughs> and these are my final results and it's giving. 
I love how my hair feels. Love how my hair feels. I did get some frizz when I was separating, but pretty normal since I'm not the carefulest separator that ever lived. But my hair has good movement. It is so, so soft, so soft. It still has that like kind of silky, yummy feeling that it had when my hair was wet. So I like that. Don't know how long this is gonna last in the humidity and heat, but it feels good, feels nice and um, coated in a good way. You know, like my hair doesn't feel airy. Um, it just feels good. But I'm gonna wear this twist out for a couple of days and come back and give you guys my final thoughts. What is up guys? So it is day four of this twist out. Twisted my hair on Sunday, took it out on Tuesday, and today is Friday, and my hair still looks kind of good. <laughs> It's the shape for me, okay? I love the shrinkage that I got from the products. My hair is still soft. I think that probably in the next two days, I'll have to wash my hair, which is normal, because next two days, that'll be a week since wash day. Now, I did go out in the rain a couple days ago. I do think that that amplified the amount of frizz that I have, but even still, my hair still looks and feels good. And yeah, um, let me tell you guys my final thoughts on the products themselves. So let's talk about the Scalp Refresh Mist first. So I liked it. I think that it worked well. My scalp felt really good after using it. The only thing that I'm kind of uh about is the smell. For me, I like my refresh sprays or whatever to either smell really yummy and fruity or like smell very minty, you know? Like I need either or. And this smell is very muted. And for me, I'm like, yo, it's been three weeks since I washed my hair. I need a little pick me up, okay? And so <laughs> that's the only thing I wish that this did is that it had some um, deodorizing, but it did what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to soothe the scalp and that is what it did. So if that's something that you're needing, I definitely recommend it because it did what it said it would do. Next up, we're gonna talk about my pre-poo, which is a Scalp Refresh pre-shampoo oil and the clay wash. And I love these two together. In fact, I mean, I really like this oil. The only thing I would say is that I used a ton of it. I probably used a like quarter of it. So I, I'll have three more uses out of this. And oh, I just need a bigger bottle. This made my scalp feel so good and it wasn't super greasy. When I use oils to pre-poo, I prefer to use lighter oils because they just coat my hair and it's harder to, you know, get my hair clean. And so I like this because it's not greasy, but it made my scalp feel so good. So this is a good duo, but you could pair this with any of your other pre-poos and you'll be fine. And for the clay mask, super easy to make, no chemistry. I just would say that it's more on the moisturizing side. And so if you want the clay to do more cleansing, just put apple cider vinegar with it and you'll be fine. Next, we have the shampoo and the conditioner and I like them. I mean, I will continue using them. I don't know if I'll repurchase. When I finish it, I'll let you guys know. For the conditioner, it is a, it is a true rinse out conditioner. If you're someone that you want something to soften your hair, but you don't want it to get weighed down, you will love this. If you're just looking for a slippery rinse out conditioner, you would love this. If you're looking for a deep conditioner, you might not. <laughs> for the shampoo, it is a good shampoo. My hair did not feel stripped after using it. The only thing I did not prefer was the consistency, that little jello consistency. I'm, I'm spilling shampoo everywhere, okay? But once I just kind of put it on my hair instead of trying to put it in my hand, I was fine, so. Yeah, I like these. Next up, my stylers and moisturizers. The, I mean, these two gave. <laughs> they gave. First, this curl activating lotion. I mean, I would, I, I love this. I will continue to buy this. Like my hair felt so good. It looked good. Like. It was just amazing. This butter cream pairs so well with this. I mean, um, I've used it on dry hair before and it does a good job of laying me down tonight. It is not very greasy, but it still gives you like the feel of a nice butter. Don't know how to explain it, but love the two. I also like this like floor and curl cap thing. It's just that it's a little on the small side. So if your head's bigger than mine, 
then it might be a little tight for you. But overall, I did find use for it. I'll probably just use this as a shower cap and when I wanna do a quick deep condition. But that is all I have for you guys. If you're interested in any of the products, please use my links down below. They really help my channel. Also, let me know down below if you guys have any questions about the products. And once again, thank you Flora and Curl for sponsoring this video. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye guys. <laughs> Oh, and if you're still here, I put some videos on the screen for your viewing pleasures. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.